What is going on everybody? Logan here for a new video and this is going to be a little bit different. I know it's not going to be like performance car related, but it is car related. But I just signed up with State Farm and they gave me an option to have a little tracker put in my car, which I know tracker, I mean, a lot of people that I've already talked to, they're saying, oh gosh, no, the government's going to know where you are. Well, it's the 21st century. The government knows when you're using the bathroom. But that tracker I'm talking about is a little bit different one than their, uh, the ones you've seen before with the OBD2 scanners. Uh, it's just a little thing you put on your windshield that you connect with your Bluetooth to your phone. And every time you are, or every time that uh, it connects to your phone and it senses that you're driving, it just detects you know how you're driving. It tells the device if you brake hard, if you accelerate hard, if you're speeding, if you take a corner too hard, and if you use your cell phone. Uh, now I will say that the cell phone one's a little bit weird, but I me, mean, I understand it because as an insurance company, they're gonna wanna know how you drive, if you're distracted, if you're always speeding, something like that. And the better you drive, the better discount you get. Like me, in a six month period, I'm saving almost a hundred bucks, which hey, I mean, I know it may not sound like a ton, but hundred bucks is a hundred bucks and you know through throughout a year you know it's gonna be 200 so hey that's 200 bucks saved just by driving normal and the thing is if you know that you're gonna drive crazy like if i am going to a drag strip uh i mean i'm just gonna turn my bluetooth off and it's not gonna detect anything uh same thing if you're driving and hey you're at a red light somebody revs at you and you don't want to hurt your score like a two-week score because that's what it does is it tracks it every like two-week period and then for uh, a course of six months that's going to average your uh, your scores and then you're going to get at least like at very very least if you're a horrible driver a one percent discount uh if you're a really good driver eight percent discount which is what i have now because everyone starts out with eight percent discount you know just right off the bat and real quick i'm editing this video now and i actually misspoken i don't have an eight percent discount right now i you start out with five percent and if you drive good it, then it'll go up to an eight percent and if you drive the worst of the worst will drop down to one percent your rates will not increase i've already talked to my insurance agent and i've actually already talked to one of my buddies He's been using this for a few years. Um, it's Some people are saying that their rates went up after the six months. It doesn't do that. And it only tracks it for six months. After six months, you give it back, and I believe your, your, uh, your discount's going to stay the same. And there are some people on the internet saying that all State Farm is doing is tracking information, going to sell it to third-party advertisers. I mean, that is a possibility, but... Every time I get my on or I get my car, uh, the my phone automatically pops up where there's a good chance I'm going to go. Uh, Facebook, they track your information. Instagram, if you use social media, you're already selling your information to uh, to advertisers. I mean, you aren't getting the money; it's the people who track getting the information. But at the end of the day, any kind of discount is awesome. If I drive great and get that eight percent discount, heck, that's almost going to double the discount I'm getting now. So potentially three hundred fifty, four hundred bucks savings a year. I will take that. But if you're about to race somebody at a red light, just go ahead and turn your Bluetooth off and you can race them. Uh, you can turn back on, I guess, if you want after that. It's like you never raced them. Uh, same thing with the drag strip. I just turn it off and it's not going to detect me racing crazy or anything like that. Uh, and then when I'm going home, just turn it back on. And for those of you wanting to save as much money as possible, I mean, hey, like I said, 200 bucks a year, that's a good little savings just from having a little device put in your car. Uh, I mean, quick and easy, quick, easy to sign up and everything. Uh, and I'm going to show y'all some of my trips because I've been using it for the last couple days. And I'm just going to show y'all how, I mean, I've scored. And really this device is pretty lenient because, I mean, I've been going 10 over the speed limit and it doesn't track that I'm speeding. Uh, I've taken corners pretty hard, doesn't detect that. So, I mean, it's not like this is a super, uh, super sensitive device i mean it gives you a little bit of leeway it's just when i am racing people it detects that if you're speeding like 20 over it's definitely detecting that so here are some of my trips and starting out with the first trip i ever had uh this right here was me going from work to the gym and as you can see i got a two star out of t two star out of five so not great at all uh the only thing uh is my speeding i have noticed that if you speed or something it detect it uh deducts points really fast uh that's i guess that maybe the heaviest weighted thing that they use uh but i mean as you can see i was speeding right there by 45 and i mean i only use my phone to like change the song and that's what like any kind of phone use is but on the next trip me going home i drove pretty easy uh i got five out of five and that is how the majority of my trips have been uh you know just five out of five it's like i said very lenient taking corners hard speeding just a little bit but it doesn't detect it uh but one thing is i had to speed up actually today and i was going around the corner i i, I punched it and right here the only thing is is that very the, the cornering it brought it down just a little bit i barely sped and the acceleration was i got deducted points for that so as you can see right there four out of five uh but still i believe that speeding is weighted the heaviest so 
I mean, this isn't a bad thing. Uh, I mean, the State Farm, they're not paying me to do this. I'm just doing this to try to save y'all money because, like I said, 200 bucks a year. And this device can actually be really good for those parents who have kids, you know, new drivers or whatnot, and you want to see how your kid is driving. Uh, this is a great way because you can see, you know, how many miles they drive. If they turn it off, the miles just wouldn't go up. So this is a good way to see, you know, how they're driving, if they're speeding, if they're racing or anything like that. So, uh, I mean, hey, it's not a terrible device to have. And if you're looking for insurance, it seems like State Farm is the cheapest I found. Uh, I just switched over from Geico, which is saving me, what, $40 a month, which $40 a month, do the math right there, in a year, that's almost $500. So, I'm happy with State Farm. Uh, no complaints. They're definitely the cheapest I found, and for full coverage, I mean, heck. Not bad deal at all. But real quick before this video is done, I just want to know how much do y'all pay for insurance? I pay roughly 200 bucks a month. Not bad at all. I am very happy with that. Uh, I mean, heck, considering I'm under 25, that's a heck of a deal. So what do y'all drive? Like what year and how much do y'all drive or how much do y'all pay and what insurance company do y'all use? Because I have a bunch of people asking me right now, uh, you know, what's the best insurance company to go with? And since I've only had two insurance companies, I mean, I can't really give them a straight answer. I mean, with my experience or in my experience, State Farm is the cheapest and they offer the most, so I can't complain with that. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.